Red here, and welcome to a brand new episode of the Talos Principle, a brand new series, the Talos Principle, not episode. Today we're playing Talos Principle, we're going to start a new game, since we had a continuing game, that was mostly because I tried to record this previously, and it didn't work, so we're going to have to try again. And yes, I know a few things, hints and misses, but this is very basic beginning of a uh, game, so we won't miss anything. So we're going to load this game in, these videos will be, I don't know how long, 45 sec 45 minutes? Yes, 45 seconds. It's going to be the fastest video in the world. 45 seconds. And, uh, I'll be quiet. Initializing firmware for Burr Functional. Initializing loading child program parameters V99.47.0011. Tell's Principle is a kind of a portal-esque puzzle game, except without the portal guns. And uh, a very beautiful looking game. Created by the same creators who created... Um Behold, child. You are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. Anyways, it's what I was saying was it's created by the creators of Sirius Sam. So, yes. It's a puzzle game. It's available on the PC. Uh, $39. Uh, it's on sale, was on sale, or is on sale, depending on when you see this, during the holiday sale and you know different sales that steam has for was this time was 999 which is pretty good and it's also on ps4 and android um so yeah it's a very beautiful game very cool i like it and it works very well on decently good on computers it doesn't matter if you have a good computer or not this is virtually a p piss poor computer of mine and it runs this game very beautifully so i'm gonna go through this little force field here uh, doing a logic check for initiating the child program. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I'm so hyper. I just feel like, you know, <laughs> panted out. Um, so, one of the tools that is used in this game is the jammer. Um, what it does is, you'll see in a second, and this is the, your weapon of choice. I don't think there's any other weapons other than this, because it's more of a puzzle game. That's what it does. It jams things. It sends a little beam that lets me go through things. Um, the area is kind of Romo, Roman or Greek, Greco style. Um, so we have one of these balls. I've never actually seen what they've done to you, but I know they're not something that you want to be attacked by. So I'm gonna let this thing get jammed so it doesn't attack me. There are turrets, as you can see right there. So the combat a turret, we're gonna use another jammer and it disables that turret. Um, yeah. We're gonna discover the storyline, play this out. It's a fun and beautiful game, what I've played of it. There is no jump key, there is a sprint key. Ooh. And these are QR codes. I'll have to get close to this. So you can actually scan it, because yes, it does work. Um, you know, I have to tell you what that is. I don't know where I am, but this, there is something beautiful about this place, which is true. I will explore and see what I can discover at version 17.1.0054. Alright, cool cool. Um, there are secrets in this game, we we'll have to find them. Little secret areas. All across this land I have created trials for you to overcome. And within each I have hidden a sigil. It is your purpose to seek these sigils, for thus you will serve the generations to come and attain eternal life. Like I said, it does have a portal-esque aspect to it, where it is kind of, um, you know, you you're rat in a mount in a cage, and you have to find your way out. Um, right now, I'm just looking to see if there's any little buttons or something hidden nearby. I don't see any. Um, here's another one of them. Let me get closer so you can scan it. I find myself in a world of impossible architecture. 
an inexplicable machine. I cannot fathom how it works, and I am terrified. To put one foot in front of the other, at least I fell of the other. Least, least I fell through the floor. One with faith. Version 10.1.0000. Blech. Say that three times fast. Okay. Um, like I said, it does have a portal esque feel to it because it does have these the emancipation gates kind of things. Um, and these are the tokens that he was talking about. They look like Tetris pieces. Ironically enough, that's what I call them, my little Tetris pieces. I need to find myself some green Tetris pieces. There's some yellow ones as well. See if there's any switches or buttons around here, hidden objects. I say we go for this one right here. Go for the first one. Emancipation gate through. A switch out of reach. And the puzzles I'm guessing are getting hard. Will get harder over time. But these are relatively easy at the beginning. Um, let's see here. Just like I said, I'm looking around, see if I find switches. You know, you oop, pop into the wall there. You can never know. Okay, I'm gonna drop this right here so I don't get hit by the turret. Oops. I kinda want to. S there we go, take out that jammer. I mean, take out that turret with the jammer. Look in here, see if there's anything in here. Nope. Oh. As it means, there's a switch out of place. I can't get that switch, so I have to go down here. Hello, turret. Ring around this corner here. Flip the switch. Grab this because I'm gonna need this again because there's that little ball over there that does things to you, and uh, we're gonna jam it in midair. And I'm gonna come around here and grab ourselves Rubik's cube. We're not the Rubik's cube. Tetris piece. Rubik's cube. Tetris piece. Same thing. The shapes thing. you are collecting are not mere toys. They are the sigils of our name. Each brings you closer to eternity. These pieces are, I guess, are kind of used as keys. Um, <coughs> I've gathered from the last time. Excuse me. Um, this also has kind of like a a god and um, kind of a thing mix. I kind of feel like it's like the voice is a scientist and he's just watching you perform your task to make sure you're a stable robot, like you're the first robot. Because as you saw in the beginning, you saw my hand. Uh, as you can see right there, it's a robot hand. So, I'm robotic. And like I said, he's standing here watching me do these tests, and when I complete the test, he takes this black paint and marks it out. I just want to go through here. Outnumbered. Okay. Doesn't mean anything. Take a look around again switches and stuff, you never know. Like I said, I've played this a little bit. About one episode worth of footage that, well, got kind of pipped to poop to me. Actually, I'll worry about that turret in a second. I'm going to jam this thing, let this thing through, pick this up, piss off. Jam the turret so I don't get shot at. Because now he's stuck over there. Swing around here, grab my Tetris piece of the L shape, come back around here. Well done, child. Only I one check more sigil is needed. That corner. Ooh, stuck on a rock. Stuck on a statue, excuse me. A sigil piece. Um, I haven't checked this corner out before. There's not, nothing here. Thought there might be a button or something. You never know. Gotta look. Always gotta be open. Check everywhere, check your corners, check your surroundings. But I'll sprint out of here because I got that one item. And we'll take the last one, the other L. It's striding the beaten path. Okay. Let's see, is there a. Oh. Gotta go straight here, wrap around here, ignore this guy, gotta check around in here, see if there's anything. Like I said, you'll understand when I flip that one switch that I found earlier. Ooh, goodbye. Quickly goodbye. Um, I don't know what that does. I'm really tempted to find out what it does. I kind of do and I kind of don't. 
I say in good time, there will be a chance for me to find out. Ha ha ha. Shush. Shush shoo. Unjam that. Could jam that. Don't I do need it though. Go away. Cause I need to jam that. Make sure there's no secrets back there. Not that I can see. Go through. Grab the last piece. That means something. I don't know what. Temple awaits you, child. Jam that so I don't have to deal with that. Go forth. Is there anything in there? Nope. Just the ball thing. Ball thing. Ball in a cup. Okay, I got everything completed here, but there are two more sigil stones. One over here and one over here. But let's put these in this rightful place. Rightful place. As I said, they are act like keys. So we need to rotate. You can play this with a keyboard, and you can play this with a mouse and key. And oop. no no no. There we go. Set of keys. But I want to go through and take care of these things first. Because I ended up coming back here anyways the last time I came through. So Let's see if I look around, see if there's anything cool around. Remember I was talking about secret hidden switches? There's one right there. And what it does is unlocks this area here, which I haven't figured out how to work yet, so don't uh, don't you worry. Uh, worry about it too much, but if you come around this corner here, there's a hidden object, one of these stars, and he talks about these stars later on. And I can't go through this because it's another emancipation type field. No hurt, doesn't hurt me. Just thought I'd show you. Uh, I really kind of looked around here a bit, but I was just thinking maybe there might be something hidden somewhere, which I kind of really didn't look at when I came here the first time. No switches, nothing interesting. Maybe it's because there's other gates in that area. Maybe there's something to do with this gate that I found. Maybe it'll teleport something in or something like that. We shall see. Kind of looks like Africa. The little wall there kind of looks a bit like Africa. Misshapen Africa, but Africa nonetheless. Alright, we'll head on out. We'll go through. See, there's a gate here too. Could be something in there. That I need. I don't know if there's any switches nearby. Here, a do to do. Oh, I know what that do to do is. There's a computer over there. I have to play around with. There's nothing in there. Okay. Go to the L here. It's only two of us. The My only. Child, you do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Thank you, Voice in the Sky. Actually, that's something new, because I didn't go after the sigils at the beginning. I went to them later. But I figured, eh, we'll take care of them while we're here. So we have this... Uh, this little jammer here, which we need. There's another jammer over here. Let's check and see if there's... Any more switches for that area? It's over there somewhere. Hmm. There's no jump feature because, let's see, that's a journal, B's journal, X is nothing. That's just to pick up and drop. Uh, clicking the mouse buttons do nothing. These do nothing. Oh, there is a jump feature. Never mind. I lied. Ooh, that's new. Let's see. Nope. Check here. Nope. Hm. I have to keep that in mind. I didn't realize there was a, a jump feature. Okay. We'll jam that. Pick that up. First, ooh. Okay, unjam that. Because I'm going to need this anyways. Jam that. Actually, no, not jam that. Jam that. Jam that. Jam that. 
wonder if this does anything. I wonder if I can... Can I... Nope. You can't drop it over. I thought you might be able to do that. Okay, that's it for A. Hmm, now that I can jump, what does this do? That does nothing. That trigger does nothing. This sprints. Huh. Did not know that's a feature. Now maybe. And you can't take them back through the those purple gates because like I said, they're emancipation type gates, so I'm not gonna do me any good for doing that. Hmm. Now that I can jump, I gotta keep that in mind. So I wouldn't be able to take it out. Can I switch at the top somewhere? Hmm. Maybe that's telling me something. Do I need to jump up there somewhere? I go back and look. Hmm. Let me catch up on that. Hmm. You can't punch or anything like that. You can sprint. That's about as much as you can do. Okay, I'm going to diddle daddle two around trying to think that out. Just, I came back in there because I realized I can jump now, so that's a thing. We'll get the yellow one that's right over here. Peephole. I'm guessing the yellow ones do get harder over time. So we're going to need this. Jam that. Go through the emancipation field of sorts. I shouldn't call it that because I don't know if that's copy written. Take this because we don't need to lock anything out. Jam that stupid thing right there. And then, oops. stop. Jam that. Okay, we could do that. Not to get closer to it. I thought we might have to get closer to it. We don't. It's like a button in here somewhere, secret button. There's a th area here. No secret buttons? No. How about, do I have to jump up here? Some, no. Just looking. Yeah, we'll grab our little yellow Tetris piece. We got three yellow Tetris pieces. Yay, yay, yay might have to come back for it. So it might be like a puzzle that's only accessible later on in the game after you unlock something. Possibly. So we'll just continue on through the gate that we last left off at. But first, there's there are QR codes on the wall, so we'll get close to this one so we can see it. Scan if you wish. My eyes have been opened. This world is not without order. It's shaped by a great designer with signs and portents, I don't know, to, to guide my steps. I am one of his children, and challenges are set before me to test my faith. One with faith, version 10.1.0011. And the next one is, whatever is the end goal of this grand challenge is far out of reach, knowing that how we are how are we supposed to resist distraction? Version 17.1.0002. And those sedatas or kadatas or whatever the hell they're called are a bit annoying sitting there going just a little bit. Like paranoid and looking everywhere. The all seeing eye. Yeah, library session. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say hi. Nope. Okay, most of these are like, this looks like a Lua prompt, as well as some of these questions that I'm asking. It's gonna just ask me to help anyways. Nope. 
That's a Lua command, I know that much. From also a Minecraft command and computer craft as well. I'll just do help. There we go. List. Okay. Welcome email. From Nadia. And the Institute for Applied Something to Alexandra. Something Nomatics. Subject, welcome to the team. I'm not going to say the last names because I believe it's a Czech game or a Polish game, and I'll probably ruin the last names, so I'm not going to do it. Hi again, I'm sorry if I was a little odd at the meeting. I know you were nervous, but the truth is that so was I. This may be hard to believe, but you're immediate. You intimidate me. Immediate. You are so young, and you've already accomplished so much. If the situation wasn't situation situation wasn't so grim, blah, I might be jealous. There's also something I wanted to clarify. I realize that normally normally speaking, I'm head of research here, but this is your project, and everyone will respect that. And yes, I know you're not used to working like this, but as of today, you're in charge. No pressure, G. Let's do this, Nadia. Okay. Let's do the uh, figure it out email uh, from Lee, subject fe 6 e The way I see it, the world doesn't come with a manual. You've got to figure it out for yourself. A bit here, a bit there, put it together, try to make sense of it. I'm pretty sure there is a truth, but that doesn't mean everyone who claims to know it is a uh, we seem to know it really does. Then again, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. We all we live in an amazing world, and searching for the truth can be a real adventure. Plus, it's good for the brain. Anyways, just let just some rambling thoughts from your old man. Don't let this stuff get you down. You're all you're young, and there's loads of time to figure it all out. Love, Dad. And then um, Athena Six TXT. Okay. Chapter 6, Athena in the Garden of Hesperides. Uh, did not trust them, but they moved with such grace, such nobility, that it was hard not to follow them further to this strange garden of gears and cogs. They led her to a place where the crowns of brass trees seemed to grow together, forming a kind of chamber strangely reminiscent of a chapel. In the middle of the chamber grew a smaller tree, that made a bright blue steel, and upon the tree grew a single golden apple. This apple, it, the nymph said, is in unison. Their eyes aglow confers the gift of deathlessness and true wisdom. Many heroes and not, not a few villains have come to claim it, but all have faltered in the final step. You must know that the deathlessness reveals the mortality of your world, and true wisdom it is unwilling, un, unending folly. Who would take this burden upon themselves? By themselves, yeah. Some say that Heracles F load, blah, 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 gazing upon the stars and wept. Close. Okay. I'm going to run the. See what else is in help. Open file. No. Run MLA. Okay. Run MLA. Loading the assistant. Interfacing. It opens. Hello. How may I help you today? Um, do you understand what I'm saying? Understand is a strange way to put it, but yes. Let's see. What was the first word of the last sentence you wrote? I'm sorry. I'm only able to process responds to basic subjects verb object syntax your query are you able to take offense to you pointless contraption you cannot insult me describe your functions I'm a library assistant designed to primarily to sort and classify data in library archives secondary functions user interface with library source via and blah 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 and deep deep dab okay how old are library archives Resources publishing dates range from July 1st, 95 to June 27th, 2030F. Okay. 
What are these terminals? They provide access to the library source and archives. How long have these systems been running? This has been active for 9999 9, e years. What's the current state of the library archives? There are 40 million resources in the archives, taking up 5.421275 petabytes of disk space. That's approximately the size of 30 billion photos, 7 million minutes of HD video, or the entire internet in 2003. However, the majority of library resources are corrupt or invalid. 10.5, 10, excuse me, 10.69, gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. What caused the data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable. In inevitable. <laughs> in any system over time. Additionally, large numbers of inconsistencies were detected during sorting leading to greater than average data invalidation. Forget the library can you respond to questions on the outside world. My knowledge is limited by the blah, 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 blah. okay. What am I? You are a guest count. Who is Elorham? Elorham is a noun for god or gods. Elorham. I think in ancient Hebrew. I don't speak ancient Hebrew. I'll have to hear the name again like 15 times in order to get it. You're currently in support in a support session with MLA, Human Language Interface, Modular Library Archives, Learn at any time. Your query. No, I'm done. Support session done. Searching for lists. And I will just exit. We got everything. And then everything's in my general here, which I don't really need to look at. Because we looked at it in red. No, I keep looking, man. I keep see looking to see if I see a button or something. Or a rocket launcher or something. I don't know. I'm going to go for those two right there, too. Before we do anything else. But Step into the light, child. And my temple will be revealed to you. Okay. We'll step in the light in a bit. I still can't believe it's a jump feature. You know, and the funny thing is I did look at the controls, but... Ah, you, you, you know how that far that goes. We'll get the uh, long bar here. Let me look and see if there's any secrets over here. Don't. Me and the secrets, I gotta find them. Poking a sleeping lion. Ooh, I like doing that. Pokety 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 poke poke poke. There's a turret there. Uh-huh, that's what we gotta do. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do, kind of. Okay, get that unjammed. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick about this. Ooh, well, that's what happens. Okay, we just learned. The guardians of this land may harm you. But do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. What I should have done was that. And this. And then pop this there. Grab that. Because I just think it's going to bounce back and forth. It is. Jam that. That's what I should have done in the first place. So date the lion again, and they come back for the lion's toy, and then run like all get fuck out. Okay, we got an L here. This is Trio Bomb Testus. Okay, get a look for switches, because you know secrets. I bet you they'll get annoying. Let me know if it does. Let me know if you want to just keep looking for them. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can piss off. Okay, I know how this is going to work. Okay. I want to do this... like so. Oop. Come on through. Okay, pull back a little bit and get stuck on a wall there. 
Oh, shut up. Come on, come through. And then, come through. There we go. I think I need this for a turret or something. No, I need this for the store right here. There we go. I was like, turret! No, no turret. Got the second one of those. We just need one more to get the thing. The thing you ish. You are most diligent. Perhaps this trait will serve you well in times to come. Thank, thank you, bright light. That's just the sun. All right, in, inside. We got everything but the secret. I'll have to come back for that another day. Ooh, binary ones and zeros. Okay, let me through. You walk now upon the stones of my temple. Whence many gates lead, and know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. Ooh. And all these worlds I made for you. Ooh. Nice. Okay, there's something here. Aha! I'm missing one more tea piece to get something out of that, whatever it may be. There's something here, which requires those pieces, which I don't have. And then for A, I need um, pieces from, uh, I think, I don't know what the A is, but I think there's like seven, eight doors. There's a store here that's boarded up, which I can't get through yet. And there's that secret door I talked about earlier. There are mysteries in my garden, hidden roads and secret gates. If you dedicate yourself to understanding them, you may join the host of messengers. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's A. There's yellow here, yellow, yellow, red, green, 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 green. and this opens this gate here. Which looks like an elevator back there. So you don't have enough to open the gate. We'll check the time, see how this is doing. We've got 13 seconds. I'm going to pause here and make sure this thing recorded. And I'll be back in a second and we'll go through gate number two. And we're back. I paused the game. Uh, recording went through as hoped. Everything's working so far. Uh, if not, I'll have to come back and do two again. Okay. Okay. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. What? For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. What fucking Great Tower? I don't see no damn Great Tower. You're speaking in riddles. Okay, 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 shut up, computer. Loading library session again. Failed, failed. Uh, rank to the area. Okay, uh... List, please. Okay, access com portal. Run a yes. Hello, guest. Is something I can help you with? A belt library assistant. Is program designed to facilitate user interface with resources? Library creates peripheral sorting into blah, 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 blah. troubleshooting. I think you would like to help accessing network functions. Most common cause of network problem is holding insufficient amount of privileges. Okay. Please enter the admin password to authenticate your privileges. Query eliminate admin. Trust in a one or God. Out of all these, most of these, maybe except for the Letman are like basic passwords, but I'm hoping if this is anything like how I do a password, it'd be something like this. Nope. Okay, we're gonna go with the simple ones then. Yes, please. Prove you're not a bot. Series of inputs. Please complete all fields. Enter the quickly. Yes. 
Three, two, one. Two plus two. Four. Uh, what is the subjective reaction of this image? Face. Uh, best describes what best describes a person? Human being. You're walking through a desert, you come across the thirsty traveler, eyes bulges, your eyes are anywhere, you're not sure how far it is, next to says what you do. Oh, from all the water. I think the process has been complete. You receive a notification of the test is granted. Put in the key. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we did it. Probably had to go through them anyways. It probably wouldn't. None of them would have been the right one. Probably the stupid thing like admin. Do an email. Frank Nagate. I'm not gonna say two miles. Same last name. Dan. Same last name. Subject. I. A N or Ian. The first day of the Inter Institute of Applied Nomatics. On the way to work, I am terrified of what if they don't like me. Ah, uh, goes down. Ooh, goes down more. What if they're all geniuses? I'm a complete buffoon, and I'm a complete buffoon. Maybe they're just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling as I walk in, and right at the entrance. There is a life site poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get into the Institute of Applied Nomatics, I A N. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies, Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Then I get it. Okay. Oh, okay, so it's yeah. Never mind. Ian Malcolm. The Dr. Sabati shows up, smiling. We're trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. She says, I-N-A-N-I-A-P-N-I-N-A-P-N-O. It's all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's the name of the someone. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff and it kind of stuck so we're officially calling Ian it Ian but if you hear someone referring to Jeff that's our internal name I guess I know all bloody geeks any more comparison okay uh, Tal's principal text okay uh, this is a namesake document uh, archive 260BCE F12 duration of Strategia, where it's true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or was others say he was creation of Heptu Heptu Meh Heptitus Hept Hep Hepius Meh. I'm gonna try it. Greek, Roman, uh, ancient Egyptian names. What may be certain is that when he was made of bronze, he had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as as flowers in veins, which, which fl flows in the veins of gods. Loss of liquid caused him to die. As a man dies, he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, through creation as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own violation, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires indeed in the tale of the Agronauts that he was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principle of nature then does it not follow that a man that man may also be seen as a machine this con contradicts all schools of metaphysics yet even most faithful philosophers cannot live without his blood 
Blech. And then we'll do Athena Analyst and Lit. Analyst. <laughs> okay. User Alexis 16 added four notes. Note one of s and novel first sentence. She woke up an impossible place knowing nothing significantly more than the beginning of another. Amnesia based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as an allegory rather than write while the taking the science fiction novice, novice, novellus, novu, yeah, <laughs> at the core of <laughs> narration, the face value as we should. I speak good English, I promise. Having no inherent knowledge of nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told, but others and what our own subject to flawed limited sentence tells us random numbers socially re reality belief and object reality matter come into conflict note number three when in chapter 16 a second awakening in the kingdom of artemis the protagonist questions her mo mentors on the note four more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of that's it more text being added to my journal and this thing is completely unconscious. There's something here. What is this? It's a floating email. I will grab it. It will be mine. Get it in me. When I was a little girl, one of our teachers, Mrs. Higgins, told us to make a time capsule. Write letters to the future so one day we could remember what it was like to be children. I thought it was stupid, so I didn't do it. Which I really regret. So... <laughs> I guess I'm gonna make one now. Bury it in the archive instead of under a tree. I don't know if anybody will ever find it, but somehow it seems important to keep talking, to keep thinking, for as long as I can. Okay. Let's explore a little bit before we do the puzzle, because the time is a bit almost up. There's a path here. Even though, ooh, those, that noise is loud. A little bit of a maze here. Ooh, there's a Curie code. I don't know what this place is, nor it seems does anyone else. Nothing to do but move forward and note whatever I find. Sheep, version 69.1.0053. Thank you, sheep. That's very interesting. I wonder if that's where I was. Kind of looks about right. There is water here. It's just, you just explore the area, look for just stuff. You don't have to do puzzles, just look around. A full statue, somewhat. Ah. Something strange has come into the world, like a distortion, like something that was not supposed to exist. A beautiful voice speaks within it. Bob, version 25.5.07. Three, six. The voice is not supposed to be here. It does not work of the. It it is not the work of the designer. We must avoid these anomalies, or they will, might spread and undermine this very fabric of our world. With faith, version ten point one point zero zero ninety eight. I wonder if they mean like those emails. Ducks. There's another island over there. Another island over there. Hmm. Must be like... I'm thinking it's Greece, because there are, Greece is made up of so many little islands and stuff like that, so it's most possible there's like a Greek island chain in the, in the Greek Isles, and it's either the world's become destroyed and man is dead, or it's just the proving ground for these robots, or whatever it may be. Damn static, I keep hearing it again. Hmm. Maybe someone's trying to reach me. That voice. Like I said, I'm not really in any mood to go do puzzles right now, because the time will be up very shortly. And I just want to explore around a little bit, but since this island is more open than the last one, and much more bigger. Is there any more QR codes around here? Oh, oh, ran into the wall. Anything down here? Oh. There's 
Or is that another island there? And those, of course, secrets. Can't ignore secrets. They're everywhere and anything is anything. This is a tomb. I like where I came in at. But I didn't come in here. So, hmm. An altar. Just looking around, exploring. Like I said I found the curie codes, stuff like that. There's that Colosseum. That damn static again. It's like someone's trying to buzz into my head. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did enjoy playing this. If the second half got recorded part after the 13th part, I'll be happy as a clam. We'll continue on exploring around a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Recording number 23, version 13. Is that like a multiplayer thing? Um, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, um... Hmm. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys think what that was, if that's part of the game, or is it like a multiplayer aspect, which... I don't think there is multiplayer in this. I will see you guys next time. I'm gonna explore some more. Maybe find secret. Listen to my head go nuts with the phasing of static and creepiness. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna log out over by the water. There's something over there. We'll check it out next time. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.